Hello, everyone. It's us again. How are you all? We're so excited to see you. Today, we have a great activity for us to enjoy together. We are going to learn about Highland dancing, and we've got a few wee tricks and secrets up our sleeves. A few things that I bet you didn't know. Ooh, to start, we are going back in time. Look at all these pictures, boys and girls. Is this what you thought Highland dancing looked like? Ollie, Ollie, this is not what I thought. I mean, well, yes, it looks like Highland dancing. They have their hands up and they are wearing kilts, but, but, how is it so dark and how are they all? Well, oh, what? Oh, well. Boys! Well, this is one of the wee secrets I wanted to teach you about. Highland dancing began in Scotland, yes? Yes. And well, the people that danced were the men in the army. Just the men? Yes, just the men. Women were actually banned from Highland dancing. The men used Highland dancing as one of the events in the Highland Games. The Highland Games? Is that like the strongman competitions, like the Olympics? Well, it's like an Olympic Games, Anna, yes, but with Scottish traditional events to find the strongest warrior to lead the army. Oh, I see. What kind of traditional events, Ollie? They toss the caber, tug of war, the stone put. That's like the shot put. And they compete at different Highland dances including the Highland Fling and the Sword Dance. So this is where it all began? Oh, well, I know something about Highland dancing that I bet you don't. What's that, Dally? You know those raised hands? Well, I know what they represent. They represent a stag. A stag? That's kind of like a big reindeer, right? Yes, a strong, proud, elegant deer poised up on the highlands. Just like me when I'm dancing. But do you know what, Ali? What? Highland dancing isn't just in Scotland. Oh, I know. I dance here in Northern Ireland. Yeah, but not just here either. They have been world champions from all over the world. I wonder, do you know any of these flags? How about this one? Oh, help me boys and girls. Oh, I know it. I know. Um, hang on. Oh, it's Canada. Yes, Canada. There's a girl from Canada called Colleen and she has won the world championships 10 times. <laughs> okay, next flag. What's this one, Annie? It's South Africa. I know a world champion from there. Gillian O'Leary. Yes, that's right, darling. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, yes, go on. Ah, this one is New Zealand. Yes, and another famous champion who won the world seven times, Morgan Bamford. Wow, talented Highland dancers from all over the world. But what about those boys you were talking about? Well, I'm glad you mentioned it. There were two brothers from Money Fife in Scotland and they won the world championships ten times between them. And another male dancer from Scotland, Gregor Bowman, he won it eight times. Now, boys and girls, you've been sitting down quite a while. I think it's time you got up and tried a wee bit. What should we try, Annie? How about some high cuts and spring points? They don't need much space to do that. Oh, good idea. Okay, up you get, boys and girls, and along with us. We have a dancer on the screen to help you. Look, this is the position of the fingers. Some touching the middle finger. Some touching Toby Toe. All your other fingers should be spiky. Two hands up high, remember, just like the stag, and remember which finger is touching the thumb. 
No, one foot up the back and then swap feet, swap again and quicker. Switch, switch. Well done. These are called high cuts. Now it's my turn. Spring points. Hands tight on your hips. First position and point your toe out in front. Great. Now change feet. Change, 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 change. That's spring points. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so let's finish off two of the high cuts that I taught you. And two of the spring points that I taught you. Nice and slow to begin. Ready? And up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. No, fast. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Well done, everyone. Great job. Thanks for joining us today. And for dancing with us. We had fun. Now, we've sent you a few worksheets to see who was listening. And who was learning. Until next time, boys and girls. Sunsy for ye. That means goodbye. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you soon.